Mike Mendoza, legendary recon marine, lives in the area here just outside the shop at Devil Dog Arms. Came by, Rudy and I were in town, and uh, so to we're going uh, to talk about time. some product, talk about the company, um, talk about the challenges we're out here to overcome. Mike has lived this stuff firsthand for a lot of years. Marine Corps community, civilian, private military contracting community, now running his own business and well aware of uh, the challenges that are out there with, with phonies, with, with people, you know, stolen valor, people representing themselves as something that they're not, all the time we're against this, right? No, you're dead on. I mean, some of these phonies that you talk about, you know, that's, that's uh, I don't even know if that's even the, the correct title to give it, you yeah. know, because I think it's actually a criminal act. You know, if, you say, if you're a phony, I mean, uh, why are you trying to be something that you're not? Is it for a monetary gain? Is it for, you know, uh, the limelight? It feels selfish, yeah. doesn't it? And it's not in line with what made us Marines and what makes us heads of households and leaders now. It's not in line with that. Uh, and um, I am very proud that Devil Dog Arms has um, taken some struggles that were in the past and instead of throwing it away, they said, no, we're going to uh, reinvest. Right. Yeah. We're going to reinvest with the right kind of people and we're going to bring in a community of men who um, never give up and uh, and thrive in adversity. We're talking about being in the Marine Corps. It's not just a job. It's not just a community. Uh, this is family. It is. Um, and that's what some people may not understand. It, it, it really is uh, a brotherhood that uh, that is never going to be broken. That's right. And when you get out into the world, when you leave the safety and comfort of the, the great big Marine Corps, you got to get out there and you got to get into business. You got to have jobs, you got to grow companies, you got to build families, we got to do all these things, but we don't have the support of our Marine Corps behind us anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's so great to know that your brothers are still with you in business, in life, in spirituality, in family, and all of the things that we're up against every day. Yes. You know, you need that support network. Yes. And it's so great for me to see brothers in arms and veterans out in the community doing things, getting out there and running companies, building businesses. One way you can think about it is, uh, you know, you're saying that we're a community, um, we're a family, we're together. Uh, at one time we were. Now we're spread out. We have cells throughout the United States. Yes. So basically here in Illinois, guess what? My house is a safe haven for, for you, yes. for you, Thank for anybody you. that comes. Yes. And I'm sure when I head out to the East Coast or when I go to it the West is. Coast, when I go down South to, to Texas, yes. you know, my, there's always an open door there is. everywhere I go. That is so and true, brother. So when someone says, hey, you know, you guys aren't as close as you used to be uh, because you guys aren't together. Incorrect. Remember when we were younger, we were so uh, specific about just um, our branch of service and then just our community in recon or just our community uh, in the sniper uh, um, field. Um, now, as we're getting older, we understand it's truly one team, one fight. Now, here we are, leaders, uh, entrepreneurs, and businessmen. We've got um, a company like Devil Dog Arms that uh, has the wherewithal to bring people like us together um, to do really positive things. So you watch out, 2017, we're gonna freaking be knocking the doors off of it. Yeah.